what's up everybody this is this is rise tv and uh i got your boy ryan terrell up in here i've been hearing the buzz around here about this little nigga so it's like fuck it let's do an interview what's up with you man, man what's up bro hey Carly, man i'm chilling man. all right all right for the people out there let them know where you get your name from man i mean bro shit i mean it's just me nigga shit ryan terrell Hey, my mom's gave me, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that's what you get when you listen to a young nigga, you know? It's the truth, man. That's what's up. All right, what do you hope to achieve with this music shit you've been doing? You know what I mean? Shit, you know, a lot of niggas with the music shit, they just want to make it, though, you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, whenever I make it, I'm trying to take it, like, take over, bro, you know what I'm saying? I already know I got it, you know what I'm saying? Sound better to the shit that I listen to daily, you know? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yeah, you, you definitely got a hell of a style, man. It's real, real different. I like it. And I don't say that about too many niggas. They all know. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it, man. All right. How does a fan uh, <clears throat> or somebody that want to listen to you, how do they find your music? I mean, you know, you can find me on YouTube, Young Skrilla Get Up, Ryan Terrell, you know what I'm saying? R-Y-A-N-T-A, not T-E, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know. All right. You got a project that's out? Uh, yeah, I got a lot, you know what I'm saying? Seven track this out, delete, go copy. You know, it would have been more than what it was, but unfortunately somebody leaked it, but fortunately for y'all, you know what I'm saying, it got it popping in the mm -hmm. streets, you know? Okay. You, uh, the other day you was talking about uh, not saying shit in your songs that you don't do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You say you don't be talking a lot about trapping and, you know, yeah. a lot of, gunplay all this shit so what what's where did that come from because a lot of artists that's your age they won't outlaw that type of shit i mean you know it really come from like before i started fucking with my niggas young skrilla getting my niggas you know what i'm saying i fuck with niggas like 10 years older than me you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so really you know what i'm saying i'm an old so you know these niggas you know what i'm saying they like they spoil me with all the you know what I'm saying? Whatever I need, the niggas have money, niggas have drugs, we wild, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So whenever, you know what I'm saying, I get this shit now, you know what I'm saying, I get a lot of play from the hoes, whatever it is, whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? I just <laughs> been had that, so it just made me be humble, and I thank my older niggas for that, you know? That's what's up, that's what's up. Uh, where you from? Man, Charlie S.T. Young, man. Yeah, I mean, Charleston, Missouri, you can find me, you know what I'm saying? I'm fine every day, all day, nigga. Alright, that's what's up. Um, <clears throat> and I asked a lot of artists this shit because I want to know um, what's the state of Missouri hip hop in your opinion, and what change can you bring to it? I mean, the state that it's in now, you know what I'm saying? It's really a lot of change going into it now, you know what I mean? Because it really ain't the same shit. You got niggas that's coming out with shit, you know what I'm saying? Styles and shit, you know what I'm saying, that you ain't never heard of. but. You know what I'm saying? Me, myself, I got a style, you know what I'm saying? One of the styles that we talking about. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can bring a kind of change to the game, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, shit, you young, man. How long you been rapping? Man, shit, I've been rapping for a while. ever since a nigga like, shit, about, about 11, 12, man, you know? How old are you now? 19. All right. Well, yeah, man. The other day, we dropped, how many tracks we dropped? Like, five, six? Yeah, Five of them. Yeah, five Big B of them. told me you got a hell of a work ethic. Yeah. Like, then nigga said you work out of this world. Yeah. Uh, why you work so hard? Man, I mean, like, the, one, of the, one of the reasons that I work so hard because my nephew, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. that's my world, you know what I'm saying? That's what keeps me pumping. Man, you know what I'm saying? One of the main reasons, he is really the main reason, you know what I'm saying? My bro, you know what I'm saying? Devontae, you know. He locked up right now, you know what I'm saying? I gotta hold that nigga down. Cause yeah. when he was out, you know what I'm saying? The nigga knew all my lyrics. He knew my lyrics more than ever. You know what I'm saying? I knew, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And nigga used to be like, nigga, hey, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? What's that shit I used to spit? He knew it before I remember. <laughs> that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's my nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's what keep me dry, you know what I'm saying? I work, you know what I'm saying, 36 hours straight in the lab, you know what I'm saying? It's not. That's what's up. All right. <clears throat> How important. It's lyrical content, cause you know you got all these rappers saying lyrics don't matter no more, and it's about swag and this and that. But how important is lyrical content? Cause I know you get lyrical. Yeah, they say lyrics don't matter. That's, that's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? 
Cause like lyrics to me, you know what I'm saying? That's you know what I'm saying, that's how you let motherfuckers know what you're talking about, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't trying to hear all this bullshit, you know what I mean? Some <laughs> niggas is, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas ain't, but you know what I mean? But what I like to do is I like to let the people know what I'm talking about and where I'm coming from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Well, <clears throat> this is a question. Uh, how do you feel about everybody outside the Missouri hip-hop scene uh, just looking at Missouri and seeing just St. Louis or Kansas City? How do you feel about that, being an artist from the Bull Hill? They're doing their thing or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if they could, you know what I'm saying, reach out to the boot, you know what I'm saying, that we can connect and make shit pop, you know what I'm saying? That's one as a unit, you know what I mean? Mm. That's what's up. Do you think we probably could possibly have more to offer, or, or how do you think we can get a light shine on us that just ain't, ain't there? Yeah, man, I definitely think we got a lot to offer, you know what I'm saying? I think, you know, we can take it to the next level. Like, it's a lot of talent out of here. It's a lot of talent, but what, what, what we really don't have is a lot of opportunity, you know what I'm saying? No niggas to really open the door for niggas, you know? But shit, hopefully that all change, you know? Yeah. How you start working with the boy Bosco? Ah, man, Bosco, you know... That's my homie, you know, like, like back in the days, like, that, that, that really is my brother homie, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and shit, that nigga, I remember one time, that nigga came out and stayed out of my crib, you know what I'm saying, that was my homie, and that nigga always been rapping, doing his thing, and, you know, he got locked up, and he, he was gone for about four or five years, mm -hmm. you know, and shit, in four or five years, I didn't grew up, you know what I'm saying, shit, yeah. And that nigga got out, heard that I was doing my thing, and shit, we just linked up like that, and now, you know what I'm saying, it's the Ryan and Bosco show, you know. <laughs> what um the the tracks y'all was recording? What um what project that's gonna be on? Oh, that's Duffel Bag Music One, and that's actually by you know what I'm saying. That's actually his project. You know what I mean? How you get that? How oh, how would you get it? Oh, okay. uh, you you know what I'm saying? Holla my man, it's Big B, or you know what I'm saying, Lil E, or you know anybody. You know what I'm saying? In the YSG circle. I mean. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's cool. Well, we yeah. All right, we should. If y'all y'all see me or whatever, ask how to get in touch with Big B. I will let y'all know. Yeah, yeah. All right. What's next for uh, Ryan Terrell, man? Uh, shit. What's next? Man? I mean, I work constantly about the day, so shit. I got a lot of shit going on. I mean, I work constantly about the day, so shit. I got a lot of shit. I really don't really play so You know what I'm saying? I really don't place a label on nothing, nothing, and nothing. I just drop shit. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. You might hear shit from me tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So, you know, but the next project, actually, the next permanent project is a double disc, you know what I'm saying? 16 tracks a piece. So y'all really get a feel of where I'm coming from. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's work ethic right there. All right, man, this concludes the interview, man. You got any shout-outs? Ah, man. My homies, you know what I'm saying? Why is GMH, you know? They did a lot of shit that they didn't have to do in, you know what I'm saying, in both sense, you know what I'm saying? But... My homie E, he held it down for a nigga ever since mm -hmm. he was, you know what I'm saying, we first met. You know, he keep a nigga out the streets, you know what I'm saying, keep me where I need to be, keep my head on straight. You know, a nigga's young spiller girl, you know what I'm saying, I'm there to the death, you already know what it is. Shout out to all my niggas, you know what I'm saying, I know y'all on the block doing your thing right now. You know what I'm saying, other than that, shit, shout out to Ryan Terrell, shout out to my motherfucking nephew, and free my motherfucking nigga. This is Ryan Terrell, and I'm checking in with This Is Rise TV. If you ain't getting money, my nigga, get in the way. Getting money 365 fucking days, yeah. nigga. I'm reservated, I don't yeah. need no invitation. Nah. And all we talk is money, currency yeah. conversation. Yeah. Niggas faking, acting like they really want some confrontation. Yeah. And they hating, just a symptom of desperation. But I ain't tripping. I got hella hoes, but I ain't pimping. Shit, I'm just like you. I ain't different. Say what's up, my nigga. Shit, slow motion. I got so <laughs> Billy Ocean. She say, boy, you deep. So I try to drown her. What's up in my cup? That over the counter.